little transfer roundup for you today. The news is changing very, very quickly. And, of course, all the West Ham transfer news being headed up by the Calvin Phillips story. And rightly so. I think it's a good story. I think it's a big story. I think there's a lot of truth in it, actually. All the big hitters are commenting on this, be it Dama Chef or Fabrizio Romano. They've all got something to say. And reading between the lines, I'd imagine it's probably 80% certain that Calvin Phillips is going to sign for West Ham. Gio did a video earlier on. You're hearing two conflicting stories, but neither of which are particularly bad news for West Ham. So the first one is that Calvin Phillips himself wants to hurry this deal along. He's decided to join West Ham and he wants it done quick. Uh, there's ongoing talks between West Ham and Manchester City. We know there's good dialogue between the clubs because we had the whole uh, Declan Rice situation earlier on at the start of the season where we were negotiating with them. Also, we negotiated with them uh, over Lucas Pacatar. Now, I know neither of those transfers actually happened, but it does show that there's an open dialogue. Uh, it looks like there's a deal going to be done. David Moyes wants this player. Uh, the other situation is that Calvin Phillips will decide within the next 24 hours whom he wants to join. They are slightly conflicting stories, but when you look at uh, Fabrizio Romano's tweet and update, which suggested that actually Barcelona were no longer interested in Phillips because they couldn't afford him, it, it made it uh, quite interesting. I, I think, reading between the lines, he's coming to West Ham. Now, it's really interesting to read some of the comments. A lot of people are poo-pooing this uh, because it's a loan deal. I, I don't mind. Uh, I, it has to be said. I think it makes absolute sense. If I was in the club's position and I still wasn't sure on David Moyes' contract, and despite all the stories, he still hasn't signed a deal. I think West Ham are kicking the can down the road on it and they want to decide later. If that's what they want to do. Why would you commit to a £40, £50 million pound deal? The loan makes sense. Loan deals have worked for us before. Thomas Suchek, I always say this, I've been saying this for a long, long time now, when people say you can't do any good deals in January and you can't do loan deals. Actually, you can. Uh, Thomas Suchek was a great case in point and I think Jesse Lingard was another good example and I think if the signing of Calvin Phillips helps us get over the line and gets into Europe then it's a good signing. We can then hedge our bets. If David Moyes is kept on, then I guess we can sign him permanently. If David Moyes is replaced, then I guess it's up to the new guy coming in whether or whether he does or doesn't want to keep Calvin Phillips. Makes absolute sense for me. And I don't care. Look, we, we bought some good players on permanent transfers in the summer. I don't, it don't don't necessarily need everyone to be a permanent transfer. Look, Mohamed Kudus is was bought on a per, on a permanent deal. <laughs> He's on a permanent deal, but let's be fair. If he carries on playing like he has done, he ain't going to be in next season anyway. So, does the permanent deal insulate you? Uh, maybe a little bit gets you a transfer fee, but West Ham were never going to make money on Calvin Phillips anyway. And I think it's probably fair to say. I think 40 million is a little bit steep, really. Bearing in mind he's he's 28. Hey, what do I know? Anyway, um. So that's that's gonna you're gonna know a lot more uh, in the next I think in the next 24 hours. So that's why I'm gonna upload this video uh, on Monday night rather than wait until tomorrow. Uh, Dharma Chef has also uh, he's had a little bit more to say on the links with Jack Clark. It sounded like there was genuine interest from West Ham. That's gonna be no surprise to us anyway. Uh, there's a couple of other players actually, which we'll get to. Well, there's there's actually five other players we'll get to in just a second. Um, <laughs> Benny and Cornet. That's what I've got written down on my list behind me there. OK, they're both available. We know this anyway. Look, two clubs interested in Ben Rama. It'd be, I think it'd be a miracle. If anyone signs him on a permanent transfer, I think it'd be a miracle. And that's just the way it goes. You know, we might have to sign Calvin Phillips on a loan. We might have to, you know, whoever the French clubs are, might have to sign, sign Ben Rama on a loan. And then we'll just deal with the fallout of both things uh, in, in the summer window. Uh, let's get him out. I think somebody who has certainly done themselves no harm at all was Maxwell Cornet, actually. In the same way that Danny Ings, I think, you know, they're two players that are probably, if clubs were looking at them, are not going to have harmed their reputation uh, by... Uh, by basically, you know, having... Well, Danny Ings had a good game. Cornet scored at a, at a sort of average game and scored. So that's going to help uh, if, if West Ham are looking to try and get uh, transfers for those players and get them out. Then that's really, really going to help, I think so. Oh, I've got to remind you, actually, by the way, we've got a sale on Hammers Chat at the moment. Really, really good sale. Loads of money off. A load of our Conference League merchandise, uh, T-shirts, mugs, all that sort of thing. And by the way, if you want to get yourself... I think I've got one here, actually. A player ratings book. I've actually given them away for free. Go and check that out. Out, Hammers Chat, uh, hammerschatstore.com. Uh, go and have a little look. I almost forgot about that. There you go. Um, remembered in the end. Uh, Mandela Cater. He is from Antwerp. Really interesting one, this, actually, uh, because uh, there's a lot of people saying that possibly this is the alternative we don't get Calvin Phillips. He's 21 years of age. He has made one cap, as I believe, for Belgium. I, I don't know. don't know anything about him. Um, lots of people... I say lots of people raving about him. I, I couldn't attest to whether that's true. 
or whether it isn't. It could be good, bad or indifferent. I don't know. The one thing I would say is I think if you get a cap for Belgium, you've probably got a little bit of promise there at least. And, and it's it's nice. I quite like these uh, these sort of surprise leaks and links that we haven't heard before because I, I sometimes think there might be an element of truth to it. It's so easy to, to get linked to these big names that we've been linked to before. But as I say, just because we've been linked to someone before doesn't mean we won't sign them. It, we have, Ariola, we signed him, having been linked to him before. Kurt Zuma, we were linked to him before. Two years, pretty much linked with Nifer Gerd. There are a number of players who we got linked with over a period of time. And then we signed James Ward Prowse, uh, would, would be another one. We were linked to him for 12 months before we signed him. So just because of that, that doesn't mean we won't sign somebody, which sort of brings us on to um, Armando Breuer, or Mandalorian Brozier, as we like to call him. Chelsea want rid of him. There's this they talk about there's no smoke without fire. They, they, I mean, you know, crikey, you, you talk about me with me pimp's coat. They're, they're pimping him right out at the moment, they are. It looks like he might be heading to Wolves. Wolves are the front runners on this one. I think one thing I'd say is everything can't be true. So, what, what, I, what I mean by that, let me just explain myself. That, uh, Chelsea wanted 50 million for him. Okay, so we hear that. Or even 30 million. I think that's preposterous. He's come back from an injury and you just don't know. He could break down. No one's going to spend that sort of money. But apparently Chelsea are going to are going to stand firm and that's what they're going to do. They're going to demand that sort of money for him. Okay. But then we hear that Wolves are, are being really, really careful with financial fair play. Wolves are not buying Armando Breuer for 30 to 50 million pounds. It just ain't going to happen. And sometimes, I don't know about you, I sometimes look at it and wonder, is this one price for West Ham or one price for everybody else? I, I don't know. Anyway, I, I wouldn't be disappointed to get him. I really wouldn't. But honestly, at the moment, almost anything could happen. There's a level of certainty in my mind about Calvin Phillips. And, and as I've mentioned continually, I think, I believe it's going to be a good transfer and good for West Ham. Good for Phillips as well, actually. Um, the other one, and I say the other one, I do think it will be one. I don't know. I mean, it could be... Um, Honestly, it could be Clark, it could be Breuer, it could be um, um, Grassi, uh, who, funny, funny enough, it looks like that's died down a little bit because apparently very hard to deal with. I don't know. I don't mean him. I mean his, um, his agents. Uh, who, who knows? Could be any one of those. Could be Victor, what's his face? Any, any one of them. Any one of them. Whoever it is. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's hard to... It's hard to see through the through the fog, really, on this one. But Breuer to Wolves, who knows? Don't know. I, 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 if I had a hunch, I get a feeling we're not going to sign him. Um, I've got another name for you. I've got to read it here. Yukanari Sugawara. There you go. AZ Alkmaar. Apparently, Tim Steiton is looking at him. Probably not right now, but he was. He, he's looked at him. Uh, full back, right back, apparently. Uh, how this feeds into the Ben Johnson situation. I don't know. Didn't like the leak about Ben, not the leak, the, the news about Ben Johnson. West Ham were willing to offer Ben Johnson a new, a new, um, a new contract, uh, but only if he's. It's, it remains to be seen whether his agent will accept it. The insinuation was that, that Johnson's greedy and so is his agent. I got it on really good authority, a really, really good authority that this is that he wants to play football, that he's not looking to be one of the highest earners in the club, um, that he loves the club. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just, you know, you can't you can't believe everything, that's that's for sure. Um, but it's good West Ham want to offer him a deal. I did a whole video about it earlier on, you know, if you haven't seen it. Basically, I make the point that he wants first team football. David Moyes really should give him a chance. He needs a little run of games. Give him, David Moyes should be saying to him, I'll tell you what, Ben, I'll give you the next five or ten games. So Val's um, been in poor form and he's... Um, well, he's suspended for the next game anyway. Give him a go. Might get him to sign a new deal. I think that would be really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, AZ Alkmaar, uh, Yukonari uh, Sagawara. Uh, he is a Japanese international. And I've got one more name for you, a triple-barreled name, which is Young Woo Sol. He is a South Korean defender, apparently. No, nothing about him. I mean, you'd, you'd struggle to find footage of him. I, I think he's only played in the South Korean league. Uh, Tim Steiner gets around a bit. I bet he's still got that, that jet. How's he going to scout it, this guy? But we, we are, obviously, as I, I, I mentioned the other day, we are increasing the scouting the scouting department, which is a really good thing. I, actually, I've got to say on that, I had a few people saying, hold on a second, you you said that you wanted to get new scouts in. I, I did. That wasn't what I said. That wasn't the gist of the video. I, I read this news story. West Ham signed 28-year-old from Germany. I thought, it's going to be a player. It's going to be a player. It wasn't. It was a scout. OK, that's it. I think we should increase... Um, we, we should we should increase the scouting department. I, just, I did a video. I tried to have a laugh. I did it about Beryl, the tea lady, and Gladys, the tea lady. Tried to have a laugh. 
Um, most people got it. A few people took it seriously, took offence. Hey, that's the internet for you, right? What can you do? Um, anyway, just so I, I think I should probably just clarify and say, I do want scouts. I do think it's a good idea. I was just having a bloody laugh. There you go. Um, yeah, Young Wu Sol can play left back and he can play left wing. Um, we're not going to sign him. Look, we've got this quota thing to deal with as well, haven't we? Um, we we we, we got to make sure that we've got a certain amount of homegrown. Not only homegrown, we've got to make sure ever you know some that come through the academy, which is why Ben Johnson uh, is important. It's why we'll sign Calvin Phillips. If there's going to be one more, then we possibly will. Unless you see this mass exodus and you suddenly see Cornet's gone and you see that, uh, that Ben Rama's gone as well, and, and maybe just maybe Danny Ings goes. You know, you might well see two, if Cornet and Ben Rama goes, you might well see two overseas players coming in. I can't really see it. I think we're bringing two players in. And you know what? Even that, I think, will be an improvement on our squad at the moment because I think, hopefully, they're two players that David Moyes will want to use. I'll be back tomorrow. There's going to be loads and loads of news stories over the next few days. I just hope we get a signing. But, but realistically, and I, and I hate to say this, and it's probably to the detriment of... of, of of everything I said, we're not in a massive hurry, but we do actually have until the 1st of February before our first game. Which I, what I do want to do is not wait until transfer deadline day. I, I, ideally, anyone we sign gets gets a, at least a couple of uh, training, uh, well, a couple of training sessions under their belt, really be really good. Anyway, catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs>